All right, as you know, as I call it my afterthought or as I am putting up the cards, um, one thing that I would like to say um, in helping you throughout your day is to let go of um, judging. Uh, I've done the challenge uh, to myself one day. I just said, it came on across my timeline. They had something about... Um, um these frequencies that i like to or these subliminals too as well i like to listen to which talks about um um stop judging yourself and others stop the harshness um which is really truly have changed a lot of things going on with me which is to really just take on the charge of not to judge not to judge others not to judge yourself and sometimes you do kind of fall off the wagon but i find that it's very beneficial and helpful because um i just uh say after the rihanna thing and um uh, the super bowl um, I, I'd seen on that pretty much on my Facebook timeline, a lot of people were pretty much kind of going in on Rihanna. Oh my God, it was the snooze award. I was sleepy. I was, you know, it, it was okay. It wasn't doing all this stuff. And I was looking at everything that Rihanna was doing, doing the Super Bowl. And of course, like I stated, uh, and stated on Facebook, Rihanna is not known to me. And everybody could kind of buck against that and say, uh, to be a dancer. Maybe she could do the twine and everything like that because she comes from Barbados and wind the body and do all that other kind of stuff. But to say that she comes out there and do a choreograph. Uh, full to the eight count one two and three and four five six and seven eight um, type of a dancer uh, I would not say that she qualifies to be that um, uh, and like a Janet Jackson or a J-Lo or Katy Perry or Lady Gaga and any of those kind of things um, however her dancers were flawless um, they danced in unison the outfits the going up 10, uh, I think it was 60 feet in the air, they said exactly was, I call it 30,000 feet in the air, um, had to be on a glass floating platform, uh, hung up by, you know, like stainless chains or whatever it is, still things up there, and to go up and down, and then us finding out that she is with child uh, as well. To me, at the end of the day, she gets kudos for it. Because again, I know I'm not going up there. You going up there, Ebony? She said, No, I'm not going up there. Uh, and so then, at the end of the day, she needs to get a standing ovation, like I said on Facebook. But you know what, really? And I always like on Facebook to kind of remind myself after things happen like that. Uh, I used to do that when they used to have those um, verses. I miss those, they were pretty good. Um, uh, battles and they would talk about it and people go in and judge and criticize and do all those kind of things and I was like you know what at the end of the day you know what this teaches me divine sunshine or Bertino whichever way that you can't satisfy everybody it don't matter this child and went up and on the rafters hanging on this uh, see-through flotation device way up in the air and people is still going in to talk about it. it was okay it was born she gets the sleeper award and all this stuff and this young lady has went out there and risked her, her unborn child's life already said that she has a fear of heights and every day she was out there practicing sin and i know rihanna at the end of the day is probably laughing at the end of the bank because she's like well they added on to my money i got more billions not now I'm more deeper into the billions than ever before I was 1.5 now I'm 1.7 billion uh, uh, dollars richer than I was before from doing the show so who cares if you enjoyed it or not I got what I needed at the end of the day which was again a spiritual lesson for me that again that looking for validation on the outside may never happen no matter how spectacular of a show or the way you show up for people may happen, or do you do? It's just that round of applause. If you're out there looking for that to happen, you may never, ever get that. And that really was life changing for me. I always look for ways in which our life's lessons of other people and what they're going through 
help me or about anything that I experience or see how can it be able to help me on this journey and I'm looking at her and saying oh my god the people can never be satisfied they're always going to be judging they're always going to see some kind of flaw they're not going to see the great things about it like yeah I've seen that but it's always going to be followed by. So it says to me, why are you trying to please everybody? This is a never ending hamster wheel that you have put yourself on that you might not be ever satisfied. You might not even satisfy the boss to give you an evaluation where they're looking at you to see something specifically that what you're doing in the classroom. And I got to the point when I did that uh, one day and that it happened. I just like, I'm just going to leave it up. I know what the best. I showed up doing the best. Did I see some flaws that I could have maybe changed or did differently in the lesson that I presented? Yes. And I even told her that in the evaluation um, as well. Uh, I could have did this. But at the end of the day, when I seen that she gave me, I was like, that's pretty much what I would have probably given myself to uh, as well. And I was telling myself, don't even worry about it. Why stress over yourself? Because you may, at the end of the day, you may her and you may or may not see eyeball to eyeball on what you had did. At the end of the day, what did you feel that you had deserved? And again, the universe had met me where I was. And so that's something that, again, that I would like to say um, to give you also encouragement as to where you are the people pleasing some of us that we have and that we've seen from our parents our ancestors of this people pleasing stuff and we're trying to please everybody stop it stop it right now because if they ain't happy seeing rihanna float her behind up there 60 feet off in the air and they still finding all different flaws with a puffy coat on again could have tripped over the coat could have had something in tragically and still at the end of the day to say thank you that she made it and they can clap and find something positive out of that then guess what like they said like Jesus said what about you it ain't gonna be no different even when Jesus said I had to even go through those things so we have to understand that again that the, the judging and the things that's going on even if we say it's him as a way shower we have to go through those things as well and again even at the end of the day the acts that he performed is still ended up with him being crucified so at the end of the day who should you satisfy self it don't matter about anybody else looking on or seeing about that as long as you're not ending up like I tell the kids killing nobody shooting nobody they bleeding at the end of the day or you killing yourself in the process of doing then again follow your bliss just like I seen in some of the readings I had did uh, one of them said just be happy follow your happiness if it makes you happy at the end of the day and you're not hurting or harming anything with the intentions or to harm somebody or to do bad, then you do you at the end of the day because that's all it's going to be about this. This people pleasing stuff, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it right now because, again, they're not going to be happy with, with regardless of whatever you do. You could pay off friends or whatever give them everybody a million dollars and still at the end of the day they gonna have a problem with why was the billion dollars that you gave me why was it old why was some of the bills old why was some of them kind of new why was some of them dated way back then why you couldn't give me no new dollar bills why you couldn't give me all the hundreds why i got 20s and 50s and 10s in it you and i know it just to get it we like thank you i don't care if it's a stack of a whole bunch of a dollar bills of millions thank you because that's a million dollars that i didn't have yesterday so again this 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 judging of others judging of ourselves we are not going to get anywhere but just keep on going around and around on the hamster wheel lending and adding on to that this is just not the way to go so we need to really kind of again check that at the at the door <laughs> like i got mats in front of my say check your energy before you come into that house 
check your energy on that because that is something that again if you coming from a family and i believe that some of us got to clear that too as well uh people pleasing pleasing others pleasing mom pleasing dad pleasing grandma um whomever like that at this point just stop it right now the judging they're always going to judge and it is not at the end of the day like that youtube video said you can only please half of the people half of the time the rest of them they always gonna complain because they don't love themselves and you cannot please a person who's had some problems loving or practicing self-love all right there i just wanted to drop this off to you as always thank you for those who are liking and sharing and subscribing and even viewing this video thank you so very much and as always stay uplifted stay motivated stay ascending namaste and namago love you until next time